Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. Tyrants are always nice. That pastor's tone and the way that he smiles in the pulpit and the gentle, effeminate tone of his voice is not an indicator of whether or not he's a tyrant. The question is, in the objective sense, not how he says it, but what does he say? So when pastors said, you can come to church, but you must wear a mask. Here's, again, just a general rule of thumb. If you have to wear a mask at church, well, church is the only proper context where the Lord's Supper can be served. So what you are saying is that to come to the table of the Lord and to dine with him, you must have faith plus, right there you stop. As soon as you hear faith plus, you just say, you done messed up, A.A. Ron. <laughs> and he can say it nicely. He can be well-intentioned. And he very well may be, I think in many pastors' cases, ignorant. But what he is doing categorically is tyranny. That is categoric, categorical tyranny. Now, someone else, myself would be an example, he might yell when he preaches, but he also isn't policing you Monday through Saturday. Seek the Lord. Follow the Lord. There's a difference. In the home, small scope of authority, very, very large degree. In the church, wider scope, much more shallow. In the state, that's the widest scope. And your authority is so shallow, it would be like, like microscopic. Like, you'd ha like the naked human eye wouldn't even be able to perceive its depth. That's how little authority the civil sphere has. They do have authority. It is a legitimate institution, but it is very shallow. You are not going around telling people what to put in their body. You do not get to go around and dictate what is essential and what's not. What must shut down and what can stay open. All of these are examples of tyranny. 